Hello, welcome to Chill Outdoors Guggen Week. Yesterday's video opened with a big scary assault rifle, so I have something even scarier. Something that's horrifying. A child! Ugh. Okay, yes, welcome to Chill Outdoors Guggen Week. We're gonna have multiple days in a row of unboxing Guggen boxes, mystery tackle box stuff, and Carl's stuff. So. We already did this Mondo XL Biggins kit. If you didn't see the video, I got scammed by. Just did the Guggen Crate, um, well, what would have been yesterday, and this thing was dope. This thing was legit. I'm gonna nicely push it off the table. It doesn't deserve to be thrown. All right, so this is the Mystery Tackle Box. Oh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Nobody cares. Mystery Tackle Box by Catchco, Mother Load, 11 to 15 items. It says about about 11 to 15 items, around $80 value, and I paid 60 bucks for this. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So this is labeled box 272. So I don't know if, oh, it has a sticker. So I bet you they kind of rotate through these. If I had to guess, I'm just guessing because I haven't looked at this stuff. I'm guessing this is gonna be extra stuff, stuff they bought in bulk, colors that people don't order. I'm not feeling very confident in it, I'm not gonna lie. So let's see, let's quit talking. They do have a list of what comes in here, but nothing is priced, so I don't know about all of that. There is a couple Guggen baits. There's a couple Guggen baits, some uh, Bio Spawn, some Carl's stuff. So let's get into it. Little cheap stickers. Let's look at the first thing I saw: the Lake Fork Live Magic Shad Swim Bait, three and a half inch, clearish white with blue flake. Oh, it's white on the bottom, clearish on top. So it's like a swim bait. It says salt and garlic impregnated. These lures are already impregnated. The Excite Baits Reflex. It's just a jig. Oh, it says a skipping jig. Why would it be called the skipping jig? 3 8 ounce reflex. Flat bottom, rounded head, makes it skip like the perfect rock. What is this? Game Changer Lures, the Eliminator. This is a weird looking lure. I mean, it's a fancy looking package. I've never heard of it. They might be big, I just don't know. So it's a flat bait. Chunky, but flat. Chunky, but flat. And it has just this one giant tail that comes up and over. So what are we supposed to do with this sucker? All right, I don't see anything on uh, how to rig this. It's a very interesting looking lure, I suppose. I don't know if this tail just swims behind it. I don't know if you use this as like a swim jig trailer, a chatterbait trailer. I don't exactly know. Comment below. The Game Changer Lures e Eel Eliminator. Oh, the Eel Eliminator. And then this is the Blue Craw Color 3.5 inch 8 pack. The Vexen Deep Thud Series Fat Boy. It looks like a square bill. It's very, very, it is definitely the fat boy. It's a very fat lure for being so short. And the color is called Shelby's Shad. Vexen Fat Boy. Never heard of it. Not a, not sure what to say. I mean, it looks decent. Comment below if you've used them. If I, if I talk smack about anything that you guys like, just comment below and just give me a verbal lash. So here's a Carl's bait. Now, some people are gonna say, oh, well, Carl's baits are cheap. That's why they give them to you. They manufacture them themselves. And that might be, I don't know. This might be just a blank that they got from China and spray painted. I don't know. So you guys tell me. But this is the Carl's Golden Boy. It's a square bill. Dives three to five feet. And the color is Chartreuse Gill. I mean, it looks decent. It's yellow with purple. I don't know that it's a lure that I necessarily would use unless the conditions were perfect for it. But I don't think I've ever really seen a yellow and purple combo. I've seen a lot of bluegill colors. I've seen a lot of yellow colors, but I've never seen purple and yellow together. Now there is some more stuff here that I don't really recognize. This is Vertical Lures, Green Pumpkin Red Flake, Flake Tube X. So it's like a thick tube at the front. It's hollow in the bottom. And then instead of like a frilly tail, it just has like four tentacle tails. It looks like Squidward tentacles. So I guess it's a tube, but it's very narrow for a tube. Um, do they give any information of how to fish it? Not really. Super scented plastics. Um, I, you know, I really don't know what to say about this. It's kind of a skinny lure. I'm assuming you could tube it or net it or even make shaky head it, but it's hollow on the inside. So I don't know. 
It's not a bad color though. Green, pumpkin, red, flake. So remember, I paid $60 for this. So we do have a lot of variety. I'll give you guys that. But just a lot of stuff I've never heard of. This is the Castaic. I mean, definitely an interesting little shape to this. Chartreuse. It's like a chartreuse blue back. Where does it say the color? There's like something inside the package that's blocking the information. I don't know if that's like a sticker or a magnet, but there's something in the way. Oh, here we go. 5 16th ounce, two inch, two to four foot depth. And the color is chartreuse blue. Okay. All right. Castaic, much better known company. A lot of people know this company. So, oh, and also let me just say that if there is smaller companies here, like if this vertical lures is a smaller company, just trying to get big, I totally get that. I'm not talking smack. I just don't know. Just don't know the company. Liquid Mayhem, Mayhem Bait Company. You know, I don't know. I don't really know the science behind like a lot of these liquid mayhem scents. I used to use Bang Garlic Spray, but it was more like a tradition. I don't know that it actually helped you catch fish. So I don't know if I want to mess with like this sticky gooey stuff on my boat. I've never really opened one of these up except to use out in the backyard or like in my metal bottom boat, but I don't want this in my bass boat. I don't know. You guys gotta let me know if this is the juice, but the lure itself is a swim bait. It's a chonky little swim bait and it's like a mustard yellow on the bottom, dark blue on top, blue flake, silver flake. Ooh, some red flake on the bottom. So two different, it's like two tone and two different glitters. And the color is um, sunfish. Okay, okay, you know what actually? I like that now that I think about like a sunfish, like those those bright orange little sunfish with the blue and turquoise in them. This is a five pack. It would kind of be interesting to do a Alabama rig with these. All right, Mayhem Bait Company. I have seen Mayhem in a lot of uh, subscription boxes in the last couple of years. So good for them. Here's some more Excite baits and these are gonna be like a more typical style craw. There is no information on the bag of what this is or what the color is. There's literally no color or information. It just says Excite Baits High Floater. So we have some claws, we have some antennas, and we have some like little paddles on the side. So I imagine this could be used as a trailer or to jig with. It's not a bad color. It's like dark green and it's kind of yellowish see-through. It's got some flake in it. So a pretty natural color. I mean, I can't say much bad about that. It looks decent and it feels really quality. I'm just not nearly as familiar with Excite baits, just don't throw them that much. All right, now we're getting into some more well-known stuff, Big Bite baits, but there's also no information on the Big Bite baits. It doesn't tell you what this lure is, it doesn't tell you what this color is, and it's just another green, like, craw with some arms. So actually very similar to the Excite. It does have a channel for the hook to sit in. It's just kind of interesting, kind of interesting, but Again, no information. Like, how am I supposed to, what if I want to buy this again? What if I want to buy this exact bait? Does it even say on here? Okay, well, it says Big Bite Baits Fighting Frog. So maybe that's supposed to be a fighting frog. And the Excite Baits is a Raptor Tail Junior. I mean, that doesn't look like a Raptor Tail Junior, or at least what, I mean, a, this is a craw, so it doesn't quite look like it would be called a Raptor Tail. And this looks like a craw as well, so I don't really see that this would be called a fighting frog. Interesting. All right, let's get to some of this more high profile stuff, higher value stuff, stuff that we actually will recognize. Biospawn. This is the Exopod. It is a straight body with like a hexagonal kind of design on the uh, legs. So instead of having like long, thin, flappy legs, these are more like a water catching paddle more like a paddle and it's kind of like clean cut edges. Definitely gonna be like a flipping bait for me. Something like that is gonna flip right into heavy cover and you're gonna be able to punch right through some nasty stuff with something like that. Very slim line, very, just a classic black and blue, blue flake. Definitely something that I could see myself punching with. Now the Guga baits. Probably what most people are even really gonna wanna see when they open these boxes. A Hummer buzz bait with a mustad hook, three eighths ounce, and a gold blade and a black body. The blade doesn't really matter to me because I buzz bait a ton, a ton at night, which is perfect for that black body. So the color of the blade doesn't matter for me nearly as much, but I know a lot of people, Jacob Wheeler included, I mean, that dude will be out there buzz baiting in the middle of the daytime under docks. 
So the gold blade doesn't matter to me as much, but I love the black body. The buzz bait in general looks like any buzz bait I would use, big fat blade. And it actually has some holes in the blade. I think that's supposed to, you know, make a little bit more extra noise, leave a bubble trail, things like that. And it's blue black flake on that body. In fact, you could even probably put one of these on the back of this just to fatten up that body a little bit. Imagine like that. I have no problem fattening up a buzz bait because you don't want them to miss that hook. And then the last thing we get, which is hilarious, I actually already got one of these in one of my Guggen Week unboxings, but it is a clutch lipless crankbait and the color is Sriracha Craw. I actually got this exact lure in the Guggen crate. So kind of makes me feel like maybe they're just getting rid of the red lures now that early spring is over and spawn is over already in a lot of the Southern states. The spawn should be hitting hard here in Indiana, like right now, or it might even be on the tail end. I've just been turkey hunting, so I haven't got to fish much. But it kind of makes me wonder, are they just getting rid of the red lures because it's, it's that time of the year's over? Or, you know, but whatever. But hey, throw it in a bucket and I have it for next year then, so. All right, what do you think? Did we get $60 worth? I would say we probably got $60 worth, but is it $60 of lures that I think I would use? And that's it, guys. It is a lot of stuff. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 13 or 14 items. So it's a lot of stuff. 60 bucks. What do you guys think? Worth it or not worth it? All right, I got to edit this. I got to get on to the next Guggen videos. I think I'm gonna open, in the next video, I think I'm gonna open a bunch of these Mondo kits. I got a Mondo kit Biggins, and it's supposed to have four lures and a sun mask. And then I got this Mondo kit Pro, and it's supposed to have five lures and a sun mask. So we're gonna see, because I already got burned on one of these other Guggen boxes. Um, oh, I also have another Guggen box down there, and I have like four MTB Elites. So, I'm gonna let you guys know. Stick around. I'm gonna let you know what's worth your money, what's not worth your money. I don't know if I would buy this mother load again. I don't know. Maybe I got ruined because the Guggen crate was so good. Let me know what you guys think. 